Now that we have known everything that should be known to implement our first ever dysentery regressor, let's implement all of those stuff that we have learned in the previous tutorials. So let's start by importing all the necessary libraries that we need. But first, let's hide the header and let's import. So we need to import our numpy pandas and then let's import matplotlib as plt and as we are running it in offline so it will be matplotlib inline so let's run everything there's a typo okay so all the libraries have been imported now let's import our data set so our data set name is games.csv file so let's import pd.readcsv and let's import games.csv let's run it so here we have our data set so we have a column a name so we should be dropping it out let's clean the data set a bit we have genre we have production cost and then we have profit so let's start by saving the data set we have variable that is data and let's drop a name zero from the data set so data dot drop and to name it it will be columns is equal to let's copy e unnamed zero and let's write in place equals to true now let's check data okay so everything is fine right now so we have our data set we have our genre we have production cost and then we have profit so let's plot a scatter plot between production cost and profit and then let's look how it eventually looks like so let's plot plt dot scatter and let's put production cost so we will just copy out production cost from here and then let's plot it out with profit i mostly prefer to co copy out the names as it saves from uh, different typos so here is our data set and how it eventually looks like so on x-axis we have production cost and then on y-axis we have profit so you can just do is p x plt dot x label and name it as production cost let's run this let's check and plt dot y label let's name this as profit so here we have so on x-axis we have production cost on y-axis we have profit so we can see a variable increment in this so as production increases the profit also increases and that is eventually how the world works in so we can also pull uh, put a normal regression line but as you can see there's a much of a variable index in this so we have a much increment as these are based on different genres so we will just import our decision tree regressor and implement on this and then we will look into eventually how the answer looks like so let's break out data set so we will just break our data set into x uh, and y so let's do x equal to data dot i lock and what we are going to do is we are going to take everything that is every row and from the first to the last and then we need the values so this is the x so for x we have all the production values so 0 1 0 0 500 1 1500 3500 5000 6000 8000 
and let's do the same for y so y will be data dot i log again we need all the rows of the column that is the last column that will be minus one and we need all the values on them now let's check the value of pi so yes we exactly have the same thing for 100 we have 1000 for 500 we have 3000 for 1500 we have 5000 so we have broken our data set into x and y so this is x production cost is x and profit is y so let's jump into implementing our machine learning model yeah. so as we have got our x and y let's implement our machine learning model and for that we need to call a specific module from the sklearn library so for that we will be needing from sklearn that is our main library and from that we will select tree from sklearn.tree we are going to import decision tree regressor let's check if everything is okay so we have successfully imported our decision tree regressor now we need to create an object of this tree so we are going to name it as dr regressor so we have our object dr regressor and then we will call our decision tree decision tree regressor plus let's create an object of it and for now let's write random state is equal to zero so you can also write something else if you want the same solution as mine so just write random state zero let's call it out now this is also fine now let's write again this entry regressor and let's fit our model so we are going to pass x and then we are going to pass y so my friends we have imported and executed our first ever machine learning our decision tree regression model so let's check out the solution of it how close we are so let's write decision tree regressor dot predict and let's predict it out for a very specific value so let's choose a random value from this so let's check the value of 20,000 so for 20,000 should be somewhere between 40 to 50,000 right if you can see 40 to 50,000 so let's check it out so we are going to write dr dot regressor dr underscore regressor dot predict and let's pass our value so 20,000 so for 20,000 we have the value 30,000 so if you can see it's not actually the correct value but yeah we are pretty close and this can be one of the solutions of it now in our next phase we are going to look into how to implement our random forest which will be giving out a much better result on this so that's how we implement our decision tree regressor in our next video we are going to look into the various ways how we can visualize our decision tree that's it i hope you enjoyed this session Let's meet up in our next video.